This adventure begins with a stop at the museum ship Valley Camp, where you can actually go inside her massive cargo hold and explore an actual Great Lakes freighter. The Valley Camp has been here for the last 47 years. She was built in Lorraine, Ohio in 1917. As you can see from the expanse, she's 550 feet long. The Valley Camp itself basically was carrying coal. She would be picking up her coal, there would be 10,000 ton in three cargo holes. And the coal would be going down into the hatches and all the way down to the bottom. With the three cargo space being filled up, then she would latch on and button down the hatches and would head out on the Great Lakes. She did approximately five million miles in all of her lifetime. The museum ship Valley Camp offers more than just a tour of her deck. Housed inside her massive cargo holds is a 20,000 square foot museum with over 100 exhibits. But one of the main display area is that of the two lifeboats that came off the Edmund Fitzgerald. Two lifeboats, lifeboat number one split in half. She was split in half, floating upside down. The Arthur M. Anderson spotted her, and the Reich came over, picked it up, and put it on duck. Afterwards, also, lifeboat number two washed ashore over on the Ontario side at Mamains Point. They were able to recover it and bring it back here. After the investigation of the Edmund Fitzgerald, Captain Jimmy Hoba, also executive director of the Sioux Historic Site at that time, had the Valley Camp accommodating the two lifeboats from the Edmund Fitzgerald. Anybody that wants to come and see it, hey, mid-May to mid-October, seven days a week, it is the greatest and the biggest of all of the museums on the Great Lakes. And it's a place to see when you're in the Sioux.